Today, I'll walk you through everything you need to know about battery electric vehicles. You might be surprised by some of the knowledge bombs I'm going to drop. So let's get started. The story of EVs is almost as old as cars themselves. One of the first practical battery-operated electric vehicles was made by Thomas Parker in the UK around 1884, followed by the Flocken Elektrowagen made in Germany around 1889. Another successful model was the Electrobat made by Henry G. Morris and Pedro Salom in 1894, which had a huge lead battery and steel tires to support its heavy frame. In 1898, Ferdinand Porsche's first car was launched, an electric car called the P1. Even Thomas Edison got excited about electric vehicles and partnered with Henry Ford in 1914 to make inexpensive electric cars. Unfortunately, the launch of Ford's Model T sucked all the wind out of the EV sales as it took over the car market. With the invention of Charles Kettering's electric starter to replace the hand cranking of internal combustion cars and other aspects of the vehicle's evolution, electric cars floundered with few unsuccessful attempts at innovation for the next 30 years. It was only in 2008 that Tesla launched its Roadster, which became a commercial success leading to much hope and excitement around electric cars. Finally, not only were EVs seen as commercially plausible, but also as desirable, fun-to-drive cars. Now there are electric car brands popping up worldwide, with Tesla still remaining as one of the most famous, followed by Lucid Motors, Rivian, Zooks and Aptiv being the most prominent. A lot of more traditional car brands are also starting to make electric cars like Ford, Porsche, Nissan, Mercedes and Volvo. In India, not only have Hyundai, Kia, BMW and Mercedes brought in reliable electric vehicles, but local companies have also jumped into the fray with some very competitive offerings. For example, Tata, Mahindra and Ola are leading the four-wheeler segment while Atta, Hero, Okinawa and Ampere are rocking the two-wheelers. The reason for this amazing popularity of EVs is because they have some solid advantages, like being much more inexpensive to run and maintain, being super quiet, and they have amazing acceleration and speed. But there are some cons you need to know. For instance, they are still very much more expensive than their petrol and diesel competitors. They take longer to recharge than internal combustion cars take to refuel, and they are also limited by their range, especially when recharging stations aren't easy to find yet. So, do you think you'll be going for an EV soon? What are your reservations if you're not? I hope you found this video helpful. Follow this space for more such content. Until next time, ride easy, go EV.